right click the bottom left corner of the screen right here the start button so right click and then you are going to click where it says run right here and now in the field that says open you are going to type net pl -wiz. and it is written as n e t p l w i z net pl -wiz. or both of these work or you can type control space user passwords two so control space user passwords two so after doing that after typing so after typing net pl with or control space user passwords two click ok or press enter all right and so this should bring up the user account settings now the main thing you must focus on here is this 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 box right here as you can see it says users must enter a username and password to use this computer now this box make sure it is unchecked make sure this box is unchecked so click this box to uncheck it and make it blank so if you check this uncheck this box users won't have to enter a password each time they are logging into a computer so make sure this box here is unchecked so i'm going to uncheck it click it as you can see here it's unchecked all right so after doing that click apply all right so now this is this is another important step as you can see right here i have two user accounts i must specify which user account uh, do i want to do this for as you can see here i have two user accounts administrator and jude say for example i want to automatically log into jude's account without having to enter a password so all i have to do right here is type the username of the of the account so in this case here jude so type jude okay and you can see the username right here by the way and then you are going to type jude's password and then you are going to type it again to confirm and then you are going to click ok all right so you must select which user account you want to do this for so after that click ok again and you will notice when you sign out when you sign out and try to sign in again you can do so automatically you don't have to enter a password so really nice feature uh, and it can be really useful if each time you don't want to have to enter a password so that's it that's all there is to know and this is how you disable the login password on windows 10. so if you enjoyed this video please like it and subscribe for more thanks for watching